Hello, good evening, Twin Minds here. Back at Hard Space Shipbreaker tonight. Hi the one, hi Pine, welcome. So, when we were last here, we got word that the, uh, the Union Buster was going to come in. And I'm hoping to get more of that information tonight. How's everyone doing tonight? Just making sure everything's looking okay. I think my equipment's good. I still don't think that they've given me the damage yet. I'm pretty sure damage isn't happening yet, but that's fine. Um, we have, ooh, the range upgrade for the the split saw would be kind of nice yes sir hello uh, more tethers would be really nice actually I might do that although I also like thruster speed um, yeah you can get both of those Tether amount and thruster speed. And I can also do the range upgrade. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Hi, Sparkle. Welcome. Okay. What do we want to? What do we want to cut apart now? The shippy Tetsuo, shippy Tethys. Apparently, shippy is a new, a new word that they've added to their naming schemes. Ugh, and we've got the javelins available now. Icky. I guess it's not as bad with open shift. It's just I can do like three or four mackerels in the time it takes to do one javelin. But I probably should try, see what the changes are. Alright, fine. We'll take a, we'll take apart the Lloyd. We'll do it. No shying away from a difficult job. I am I am apparently going to fix my back already. Actually, I've, I've done a little bit of stretching when we first started. Eek. Eek. Mop. 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 Oh god, I don't- I didn't realize I still had the booze button on, I gotta turn that off. No- no booze. Although, now that you mention it, 
Maybe. Now I'll let you mention it. Here, I'll turn off the booze and then... Um... Barry. Cheers, Sparkle. It's been refunded, but I got booze anyway. Alright, does does Mr. Man have anything to say about uh, the javelins? I don't think he does. No, I don't think he's got anything to say. Okay, that's fine. Oh, goodness. Um, I don't... I don't have an ammo controller in here? Alright, fine. We'll crack it. Fine, we'll crack this too. Alright, we have posters. And not much else. Okay. Just want to make sure that we're completely depressurized here. I gotta go to the other side and do that. Atmo controller in here. We do. Um, do I wanna? Kind of just wanna crack the door. There's like a whole bunch of stuff, and that might be a problem. Eh, it's fine. We'll do it. I'm not looking. I'm not looking to see how bad the problem is. Ah, oh, that wasn't bad at all. That wasn't bad. Okay. So now that we're fully depressurized, I can start disassembling. And I might as well start with a side? This side. Sure, because I'm already here. Back it, why not? Alright. Uh, I don't think I know how to take these things apart very effectively. But let's see if I can do that. What am I cutting, anyway? What am I cutting? What's going on? <laughs> oh, okay, that's just one of these things. Transfer. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to take some time to get used to the new javelin designs. There, this design was available last time I, I did cutting, but I only did one of them, I think, before I stopped playing. So I don't, I don't think, I don't think I got used to it. So I know that they added more cut points, so you don't have just the solid rings if you don't want to. And that's helpful, I think. I'm fairly certain that's helpful. bottom section should be able to go that way. Good, good. Yeah, I think I like that a lot more now, um, now that I've had a chance to fiddle with it. I think the last time I just had the open shift and I wasn't really taking my time to learn it. Also had a request last time to turn on my light so that they could uh, see a little bit better. So I'm gonna do just that. to be able to pull that about as fast as before. Okay, that's fine. Good, good. Oh, I never depressurize the cockpit. I should do that. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Pressure levels dropping. Okie dokie. So that's all depressurized now. Uh, I guess I could just, just cut this thing open while I'm in here. Hang on, come back. Come back. There was stuff on there I wanted. 
poster. There. Now you can GTFO. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Actually, I kind of like this more than my previous method of taking apart these cockpits. Previously, I had uh, detached them from the ship and then left them in one piece and tried to take everything out through that, that airlock. And that was kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know why I ever did it any other way. This is nice. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's just one of the chip things. Okay. Alright, so this is furnace. Oh, this whole damn piece is furnace. Nice. Pretty sure that's all furnace. Yeah, it looks like that's all furnace. There you go. Deposit nice. That uh, that whole front furnace piece was worth about twenty grand. I love being able to see the numbers now. That's it's such a nice addition. Salvage deposit accepted. Done right, here. Howdy Corpheus, howdy Trix. Welcome. Oh, I destroyed a light. Oh dear. I am I am doomed. Doomed, I say. Alright, gonna see if I can uh, cut this whole thing apart. Profitable levels. Hmm. Oxygen, you say. Breathing, you say. Bah. Humbug. Okay, well, okay. So breathing might actually be important, especially with where I'm stuck currently. There we go. That was a that was a little bit of a tense moment there. Don't mind me. Just caused myself some heart problems. Back to attempting to take this thing apart. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cut off the bottom loop here. And I think I did, but I don't think I kept it in one piece like I wanted to. That's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh... Are a free piece, yes. Salvage secured. Account credit. 
edit applied. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Yes, this piece is a little bit bigger, but should be doable. Good, good. Hopefully I don't need power anymore. I don't think I do. But I have no power anymore, so I don't know, we'll find out. All right, uh, let's get this airlock off. Oh, hi, kitty. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. That's what I was trying to do. I have a hell of a time getting that angle sometimes. still attached to? What are you... did I miss a thing? I did. Missed a thing. There we go. God, I keep getting myself all turned around. I know there's no official up in this game, but it still feels like there should be. There's the power. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like the new javelin cutting techniques. Alright, so I've rotated the ship a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, you go that way. You're still attached to stuff, aren't you? You're still attached. Alright, um... That's fine. Carry on. Caution. Tether supplies running low. Carry on faster, perhaps. Is are my tethers going to last long enough for that to get into the well? And the answer is, I have no freaking clue. It looks like that's in the well just fine. Okay, good. Valuable object process. Bonk. Credit 
Okay, have I ever figured out how to cut these things apart properly? Ah, uh, okay, they've changed it slightly? I don't remember those being cuttable before. Well, that just, that just looks hazardous. Cutting that with that in the way? Salvage secure. Hmm. Credits deposited. But yeah, it looks like they've changed it up a little bit. Most of these are now cuttable. They I, they weren't previously, I don't believe. Okay. This should be good. Hopefully. Okay, let's uh, separate you. Whoops. One of the fuel clamps is still alive. Somehow. a um, little bit of a food cup, but it's fine. made a bad cut, but it's fine. I have averted most of the disaster. Drums with the resub for seven months. Thanks, drums. I appreciate you. If you caught my uh, my mishap that just happened, but I, I caused myself some problems. I blew up this chair. It's the worst offense. The computer is still alive, which is good. The table that it was attached to, not alive. It's fine. Are the posters good? Yes, the posters are still alive. That's the most important part. Don't worry, I'm sure there will be other mishaps as I try to f figure out how to play this game again. Okay. Uh, I need you. I need you. I need you. And you. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder. Asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. 
Yeah, yeah, and miss salvage quotas, yada yada. Okay, uh, I guess I'll go breathe. Okay, anything else I need to salvage from the outside of this thing? I guess I could take the ladder. I doubt it's worth much, but we'll, we'll take it anyway. It's worth 16,000. It's actually not bad. Alright, I think this is just a shell now. And I think that shell can go to the furnace. Get those things scooped up inside of there. And then this whole thing can go to the furnace. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely cre uh, created a little bit of a fireball there, but it's fine. I mean, granted I lost 135,000 in salvage, but it's fine. piece is attached now? Curious. Uh, I can detach it by clicking holding. There we go. This is this is acceptable. So this is an early tier javelin, so we just have a regular old reactor to deal with. What's a separate piece here? That's a separate piece. You're a separate piece. You're not separated yet, but that's fine. So I hooked it a little bit, caused myself a little bit of spin, but it'll it'll work. Everything's fine. Stop worrying about it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, might, as well, might as well split it. Might as well. Previously, I wouldn't split that, and I would just take the ring off in one piece, but now that I can split it, I'm kind of okay with that. Caution. Tether supplies are low. 
processing valuable objects. You can go. You're eventually going. You're fine. All right. All that's left, I think, is to just clear this out of shiny bits and then throw it in the furnace. But I probably should go get some oxygen first. So let's do that. problem with this current setup is no real access to get things out. Uh, I could fix that. Let's see if I can fix that. Let's see if this will fix it. Sometimes this part works, sometimes it doesn't. No, it did not fix it. There's some other connector piece in there. I think I know which, but I don't know if I want to fight that battle right now. Alright, uh, instead then, maybe I will fight that battle. It's already partly fought for me. Yeah. The explosion helped. So this is furnace bait. And you're also furnace bait, and that cracks it open. All right, any posters on there? No. If I were attempting some sort of speed tactic, since this has so many parts that go down to the barge, I could conceivably throw the whole damn thing down to the barge. But I'm still trying to make a lot of money, so I don't want to do that yet. Oh god, there's so many pop cans and stuff in there. going up on the walls. I actually didn't look at the other posters. Uh, this one is a schematic of some sort. Neat. Alright, so I have like a bunch of posters for Over the Moon Brewery.
the cloth is holding it in place. There we go. Howdy, Smooth Agent. Welcome. Okay. Uh, everything else in here goes to the furnace, other than the lights that I don't care about. And that should include all of those things, so hopefully I'll get credit for all those. Because I don't want to move them all separately. Here, you go back in there. Ah, screw it. I'll take a light. Why not? Okay, now everything can go to the furnace. There we go. Now it's just a scoop full of furnace crap. Warning. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable levels. Good, good. Not the oxygen part. The scoop part. <laughs> Material deposited. Hooray! So now that javelin is done. There's bits and pieces floating around that I'm not getting credit for, but it's not enough to worry about. Hooray! That was actually not as bad as I remember javelins being. So this is good. Um, bottles got destroyed. That was probably in the explosion, but none of them are now. Um, the rest is good. The rest is good. Wonderful. I entirely forgot I had booze. That's how little I'm used to having booze at this at this day. Good morning, shipbreaker. Your theta wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Happily. Ah. So I got 5,555,935. Not bad. Um, this really does, this, is the, this whole setup here, really does kind of speak to the standard corporate method. $500,000 in fees every day simply for existing up here. But it's fine. It's fine. We're on track to make a billion dollars. Or rather, we're on track to pay off a billion dollars. And why do I have things in my eye? Damn it. I need that eye. There we go. Turn around. Let's do some posters. So Link Salvage Division is stuck there. Oh, nope, never mind. I thought we could only do the home and decor ones. Alright, so let's do... The bunny. I thought... And I, I would probably misread this somewhere. Um, I thought that you got... All of the posters that you managed to salvage from ships. I thought you got those to put up in your hab. But I'm apparently wrong. Maybe I misread that, maybe I misunderstood. But it's fine. Howdy night, welcome. Do you have any emails? I have emails and data recovery. Ah, okay, so this is the stuff that I'm not going to read off, because I read it off in previous streams. This is all going about the information of how Lynx Corporation grew from a mom-and-pop operation into a full salvage operation. So this is good, and then this is contract clauses from the uh, anti or the the union group. This is information about Exeter Paulson, who was the founder, I believe. I think we're good. Oh. Collect them by hand. There's an actual hand collect option. I will have to try that. I never thought to do that because it always just says barge when I point at it, so I didn't even think about it. 
but certainly can give that a shot. All right, what do we have here? Links offsite BU four zero five six. Employee termination rail mail. Two links HR from uh, two links HR links operation leads links employee that number. From Edward Matthew Ferris. R E employee termination. Attention, effective immediately, employee Mikey Murphy of Operations Division is no longer an employee of Links Corporation due to insubordination, corporate dissident, um, corporate dissension, and misuse of company funds. The search for his replacement is already in motion. Carry on, EMF. All right, Ed, Ed, Eduardo Matthew Ferris. You can go about firing people, you do that. So I did read all the emails previously, at least up to the point where the... Um, the Union Buster is coming. But what I didn't read was I didn't read a lot of the data pads. So we'll read those as we need to. I didn't check out my upgrades. Ah, now we have damage. Okay, so the damage hasn't been working up until this very moment. I found that a little bit odd, but I'm okay with it. But now I need to actually start dealing with it. It's fine. I just need to remember to do it. Mm -hmm. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Alright, what ship are we doing next? Uh, the Corpulent Shrill. I haven't actually collect, uh, done a, uh, an Exolab Mackerel yet. At least not in this run. Uh, otherwise we have Shippy Tethys, American Williams, and the Nebulous Badger. Light cargo, heavy cargo, or Mackerel. And we also have a Javelin, Mackerel, Exolab, sorry. Um, other stuff. Let's let's do let's do the uh, Exolab. I haven't done one of those in a while. They always start off those, um, the, the hyper jump things when I'm in the middle of doing stuff. Taking a Borg Sphere apart would be kind of nifty. It'd be a little bit of a long job, though. Your pressure level decreasing. Alright, pressure's all good. Good, good. Your log pressure level's dropping. Alright, do I have any posters to attempt to collect by hand? Or is this going to be one of those ones where I don't have posters specifically because we mentioned it? There are no posters. Cool. 
Thanks, game. Appreciate ya. Wait, I found a bunny D. Still no posters, though. Love the trippy lights. Wow, we have a lot of uh, scrap in here. A lot of a lot of crud. Wait, did Bunny D just squeak? I think it did. Okie dokie. Let's uh, do what I can while I'm here. Snacks, more snacks. Okay, so you guys need to go. Oh, ah, right. They made those incredibly fragile. Cool. Good to know. So you can't just slice them open to get them out. You have to carefully disassemble them. Balls. Oh well. It happens. I am I am living and learning. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Woohoo! I got a hundred and ten credits for that scrap. <laughs> Hooray! Alright, how am I supposed to crack into that thing? I mean, I guess I could go this way. That's, that's one way I typically will go. Especially if there's no obvious door to get in. I could just cut in, but... No real need. Alright, you need to get away. Your oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Don't you worry about a thing. We'll be fine. Oxygen level stabilizing. Fuel, sure not. Okay, so I came in there a little bit hot. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have... I don't think I have a way to get into that side segment there. So we're just going to see if I can push this out. Good, good. Smooth agent whipping out a little bit of Marley. Nice. Valid 
Valuable object processing. Credits awarded. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a... There's a thing in there I want. There's a thing in there I want. Come here. No, I can't get it. No, oh, boo. Boo. Oh well. It's fine. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. I like that we actually have power cables going from the junction boxes to places. Um, that's a that's a touch that was always kind of missing before, and I think it still is missing for the most part. Where there's no real obvious power transfer in these ships. Gentle with the cutting laser. Oh, there's more. Okay. Another one, right? There. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Alright, and then the rest of this thing can go that way. Hooray! Hopefully I didn't miss anything off of there. I missed the electric cables, but that's fine. I don't care about those. Salvage gained. Rewards increasing. Ah, see. There you are. I'm gonna have to be extra careful. Hang on. I need you to GTFO, please. Till my next oxygen run. Whee. I'm not entirely sure what I did to the ship, but it's all crookedy now. Salvage 
Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I have all the snacks. Thought there were more snacks. Hmm. Let's go snack hunting later. Alright, uh, let's cut off the bottom segments here. There should be another one there. Good, good. Right. Uh, I think I need to be gentle with this side. Let me go the slow way. Really not cut that piece. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. There we go. That was really just me being dumb. Got it. Understood. Tether supplies are low. this thing all out of proportions so it's really hard to get the angles right but we'll, we'll manage Gunner, your equipment durability is dropping keep an eye on it you don't want to be dangling in the wind with busted tools when you see it happening head on back to the hab and use a repair kit to fix them up what if i don't wanna This is probably another case where it might be beneficial to throw this whole damn thing into the barge, but it's fine. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. snacks in here. Material deposited. Uh, 
any more snacks that I need to worry about? No, but there's a poster. Let's see if I can get the poster. Collect poster. Aha! There was a poster. And it did let me collect it. Knight was right. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your plan administrator to add asphyxiation coverage. Oxygen level stabilizing. You were right about uh, collecting the posters with F instead of sending them down the barge. Or at least according to the text description that I just read. Whether or not it actually worked, we'll find out. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit Corpia said that? Oh shit. It was two names of equal length that were both purple. I must have missed it at a glance. So Corpheus was right. It was not night. Thanks, drums. Good catch. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Can I get you down that way? There we go. Okay. You is smart indeed. All right. So not too terribly much left to collect in here, and this thing can go to the furnace. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oop! Oop! Missed. Missed. Uh, done? That thing's not done, but I don't really want to cut it out. Uh, everything else in here is furnace. Another computer I almost missed. Whoop, and almost blew it up. It's fine. Alright, y'all furnace? Yeah, furnace. Get over there. Get over there faster. And I just need to clean this thing out. a door. It was worth 300 credits. The other door was worth 900 credits. And that reactor plate was a th was 9,000. Okay, well, yeah, that was probably worth salvaging. Oh well, too late. Everything? No, I didn't. Okay, now I got everything. Only thing to check is if there's a fuel thingy tucked under here, which there is not. Good, good. All right, I'm gonna jam Molly up into the processor here. the Exolab Mackerel. Wonderful. And we now have rank 8.
Good morning, Shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. Wonderful. New message received to Shipbreaker Me from Habitat Enrichment Department. New Hab poster available. It is a Dr. Doris Singh inventor of the Railgate poster. Yep, Corpheus, you were confirmed correct. Uh, new ship, um, Javelin Heavy Cargo Small. Wonderful. And a new staker, Ichthyologist. Cutter. Hi. I wanted to tell you, I'm mighty impressed by you. Remind me of me when I started, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Had big dreams of hitting the rails back then. Bought myself one of them classic armadillo rigs. Named the old girl Beulah after my mother. Told you about my bad revive a while back. Another case of me and technology not getting on, I guess. Bottom line is, this body just ain't fit for flying no more. So, I want to give Beulah to you, Cutter. Now, she ain't in the best of shape, but she'll do good by you. Hell, even a few places around the village that'll fit her out for gate travel, if you're so inclined. Anyway, that's it. She'll do more for you than me now. I'm just happy she's going to be with somebody that truly appreciates her. Weave her out. Fascinating. Fascinating. And I, I think this kind of speaks to the issues that I was having earlier with the story feeling rushed. Is that, yeah, we've been doing good, but we literally just started. So it seems kind of odd that Weaver would trust us and love us enough to give us his beloved uh, ship. Which seems to be like a really expensive gift. Alright. Yes, Dr. Doors sing. Perfect. So hopefully they smooth out the story a little bit pacing wise. But I'm sure that part of it is that they just wanted people to get access to that ship sooner than later. Maybe they'll adjust the timing of that later. Alright, smooth agent. Enjoy yourself. Hi, sir. I have a kitty, and he is yelling at me. Ah, kitty, 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 kitty. No stabbing, no stabbing, kitty. No stabbing and no yelling. I would appreciate you not. Alright, everything else should be fine. Uh, better cooldown might be nice. Charged push even more nice. Hell yes. Thrusters, better braking would also be nice. And better O2. Very important. Alright, I guess I'll have to get the uh, cooldown later. Okie dokie. Another day. Another million dollars. Nope, nope, nope. Not continue. There's nothing there to continue. Okay, uh, so now we have... Heavy cargo javelin. We might as well do one. Might as well. Dunk. Um, there we go. There we go. Salvage deposit accepted. 
Most of it is pressurized. Okay, we're gonna deal with that. And let's see if I can do this mech or this um, javelin without blowing myself up. That would be wonderful. Alright, so looks like just the interior compartments. Bowser. Bowser. Stupid Your guy here. Pressure levels dropping. Oh, we're done. Nice. All right, so then I have to go to the other side and depressurize that one. Increasing. And now I get a chance to get these that I didn't get before. Alright, I need this button. Air pressure level decreasing. That's all done. That's all done. This just needs to be cracked open. Okay. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Good. Alright, so now that we have everything depressurized. We can start disassembling. Float in there. A little floating puppy. Gotta love it. doesn't always work out according to plan. It's connected to this thing. Um. Like that. Credits 
Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Ow. I bonked. The big question is, is the arrow bridge even worth salvaging? You lose about 300 worth cutting it off. And... Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Well then, it's worth 137,000. I think that counts as worth it. Previously that was absolutely not worth it, so I'm glad they adjusted the pricing on that. to next. I guess I can continue working on the back end, but I feel like I probably should get the front end out of the way. Yeah, let's do that cockpit. And then we'll figure it out from there. I have no idea if we need to collect multiple posters to hang multiple copies of them, or if once we've unlocked it, it's just unlocked. So I'm just going to collect all the posters by hand. It'll be easier that way. Didn't see the bunny. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. What are you? Snacks. The rest is all decorative stuff. Okay. Right, I have the charge now. Forgot about that. Good, good. I see you. Noises. Corpheus, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I'm glad my noises are working again. Bonk. I think I might have destroyed something. I will. We'll find out. Did I destroy anything? Ah, oh, it was just a light. Okay. All's well. All right. Uh, let's get some of the. Let's get some of the stuff off of here.
Really? There's not really much heavy cargo for a heavy cargo vessel. There's three. But it's fine. There you go. Have a nice trip, guys. Okay. Uh, next. I guess we start taking off some of the important bits. Let's do that. salvageable part. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have a lot of airlocks to do. Um, cool. It's not going to detach until I cut off these bits. Why won't you detach? What are you attached to? Oh, are you attached to that? Neat. Good. All these things are now free and clear. You can go that way. You can go that way. Stop trying to kill me, please. You can go that way. Chill, you're fine. Stop freaking out. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Salvage gained. Credit awarded. Right. Salvage uh, You are also a free piece. You can go that way. Oh, hey, that's what I cut off. Okay. I did that at the start and didn't even didn't even register that that was a piece that could go down. It's fine. We got it. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Good. Warning. Tethers depleted. Valuable object Missed. 
Yeah, I wonder if that's me, or I wonder if that is the game. Every once in a while I just miss hitting the F key for whatever reason. To, to shoot the thing. I don't, know, I don't know what that's about. But it does miss occasionally. There we Salvage go. Secured. Credits deposited. Okay, so it's not just me. Good, good. I mean, not good, but good. Stop running. Get it. Okay, so this is one of those pieces that needs to go in the furnace, but does not want to detach itself. Could probably fix that, but I don't know if it's worth doing. Yeah. Oh, uh, light. Shoo. No, I said shoo. That was the absolute worst. It's fine. Okay, and then I think these are all free now? Yeah, these should be free now. Okay. That can go... Sure, we'll use some janky physics to move these things out of the way. I think I want to salvage that piece. It's probably worth a decent amount, but not enough to waste my time. Okay. Uh, stuff. only worth 4,000. That's fine.
Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Good. Wasn't quite sure that was going to make it. Okay, so now, back to this problem. I kind of feel like I should do the other segment before trying to tackle this, just because of how bad I fooked it up last time. But, not entirely sure. Deposit accepted. Do we have a lever? We do have a lever, okay. This is good. We don't have a way to disconnect these things. Unless that's safe to cut that fuel pipe. I'm not entirely sure I trust that, but... Yeah, 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 fuel pipe, blah, blah. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder, asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. What you doing over there? Get in the hole. Thank you. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oh no, cavitate. I hate when that happens. Also, hello, welcome. I I blew up my fuel my fuel tank here in the middle of a, a javelin last time, so I, I get your I get your pain. That is such a disturbing warning noise for something so minor. Alright, nacelles are gone. Ish, we'll get there. Salvage deposit accepted. Um, I'm going to assume it's safe to cut that fuel pipe. But I'm also going to assume that I'm wrong and that I should wait until I'm done tackling the rest of the ship before I try doing that. Because I don't trust myself. So I'm going to do that. Alright, what do we have in here? Uh, mostly... No, actually we got quite a good mix of stuff that goes in the barge and in the furnace. All right. Alright, let's just crack this thing open. It'll be fine. doesn't fit there. Okay, that's fine. That means my head doesn't fit there either. Alright. Missed. 
Alright, uh, I have quite a few pieces cracked off on this thing, so we should be good to start separating. Try to take it with you. Um, well, now that we've got prices, like an actual listed prices every time you salvage something, you can kind of see how much it's worth. Lights are only worth a thousand. So in the grand scheme of things, they're not really worth salvaging. Um, I always grab them if they happen to be in a convenient spot for me to grab them. But generally speaking, they're kind of out of the way. But if you, I mean, ultimately, if you get the joy out of salvaging everything, then by all means, go for it. Whatever, whatever floats your little ship. What is, what is still attached here? What's, what's going on? What's, what's still attached? What are you, uh... What's going on? What did I forget to cut? Unless it's entirely possible that this is all connected together for some reason. And it shouldn't be. But it's fine. I'll deal with it. That's partly why I do the open shift, because I, I just like taking my time and getting everything I want to get. The computer might be the computer, might be the chair. No, okay. What, uh, oh, those things, right? All right, I'll grab those things. There we go. Warning oxygen reserves are low. Howdy, kinder. Welcome. Deposit 
accepted. Now, I still am not entirely sure what's tying this midsection to this and this. Like, I thought I got all the cut pieces, but apparently I didn't. Unless there's something internal, like this. No, no, okay. That's fine. Hmm. No, all the cut pieces are gone. Alright, well, that's fun. I haven't played all that much with the demo charges, even though they've been around for quite some time. But I wouldn't be surprised if the explosion was a little bit bigger than expected. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Whoops, chairs in the way. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Okay, um, oh, I didn't get these. I need those. But I think I might just drop this whole thing into the processor. I could try to cut it off, because it'll probably cut off just fine. But I want those, I want those airlocks. I don't know why that's not detached. Oh, you're talking about that? Yeah, I've done that a couple times. Um, the problem is, is that this center box is fully attached to that outer hex ring. So no matter... Hex? Octagon. Um, no matter what, if I cut this off, it's still not going to allow either piece to flow freely, and I can't cut that piece to let it go. Um, I haven't had this problem before. This might be a new element of this ship. It'll be fine. We'll manage. Okay, uh, what about... These pieces. So this part pops off. But I don't think that frees the airlocks. Does it? No. No, it does not. Alright, I think I know which part it is, and I guess I'll just go in and cut it off. It'll be fine. Whoops, my bad.
All right, so since that's being a pain, we're going to cut it free. And I need to go inside for that. I think it's just this bottom rounded piece here. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's get ourselves turned this away to cut more of it. Did you do the thing? Are you doing the thing? Nope, you're still not free. I don't know what's up with you. But you're not free. Alright, fine. We'll cut some other stuff. Yeah, see something. Carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Something about oh, uh, was there a top piece too? Hang on. You go away. This might work. This might not. Get fine oxygen. Fine. Fine. Yeah, and I don't know why this specific core is not getting pulled out. Because normally these rings separate from these rings. But it's not doing that for unknown reasons. Ah, there it goes. There it goes. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. It was specifically those little um, wedge-shaped pieces that was holding it all together. All right, fine. Fine. We figured it out. It's good. Now for this mess. It's now less hazardous because there's less things around it to go boom. So there's that. I've got that going for me. Now I'm going to assume that I can cut this fuel pipe. And if I can't, the whole thing is going to go boom. Good. That worked. Wonderful. You go to the barge, and you go to the barge. So I need to get you out of here. Oh yeah, I've I've played a lot of this game, Cavitate. I've um, already paid off my debt in full on a different game prior to these updates, so I, I have I have some okay skills behind me. I don't do speed very well, 
but I can do meticulous cutting. You go in there. Now these things, getting these out of here has always been my bane. I've never really had a good time doing that. However, I think now that these are more easily cuttable, I think it might be something I can do. Now that those are out, I can put these in the furnace. Go in the furnace. Go in the furnace. Son of a... Get the goddamn furnace. <laughs> I don't know why that one's fighting me so much. Yeah, those those were not cuttable before by your normal cutter. You had to use the um, the charges, and I didn't like using the charges. But now that those are cuttable by normal normal means, then it's much easier to work with. You good? And one more. One more to you. There we go. What are you? What are you? Ah, tiny little chunk. Deposit accepted. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Uh, the cutter used to become level two, um, but it doesn't anymore. At least, I don't believe so. They they removed that update because it was kind of obnoxious cutting through all the nanofiber, or the nanocarbon. Hooray! I did the thing. And I only destroyed seven things? A tiny little slash of the arrow bridge, <laughs> 33 lights, some uh, structure aluminum, some panel aluminum, Couple doors, couple personal terminals I don't remember exploding. Oops. Um, and a little bit, a little slice of fuel pipe. Otherwise, I've salvaged everything off of that ship. That's pretty nice. New certification Hooray! Level rank increased. nine. License level increased. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Well, great. New poster. New poster. New poster. New poster. Great. Time to put up some new posters. Please tell me I heard that right, Rook. Weaver gave you this old armadillo? Man, that's so lucky. I used to help my old man fix up beaters like that back on Eris. I hear weavers might not be in the best of shape. Listen, I can help get that thing ready to ride the rails. I'm transferring a diagnostics program to you. Go ahead and boot it up. Yeah. Here we go. Getting data now. Dang. Amazing. Old girl was used for construction at some point. Could maybe even be kitted out for salvage running one day. Mm -hmm. This tool will help you see what parts you need to fix her up. It's a little bit of freeware some friends of mine made. Just don't uh, pay too much attention to Shippy. <laughs> it's a luxury. Anyways. You can find everything you need kicking around inside the ships you're salvaging. You could also rip parts out of other ship components. It'd ruin the salvage value, of course. Maybe don't tell Weaver if you're gonna do that. <laughs> Can't wait to see what you'll do with this beauty. Good luck, Rick. Yay! We have the ship doctor. Eva. Could you stop yelling at me, sir? 
Um, I don't know if there's a way to skip the coworker transmissions. I'm here for the, the coworker transmission, so I've never tried. The entire point of this update is Act 2 of the story, so I'm not entirely sure they want people skipping it. Maybe in the future. Okay, so I need two circuit boards found on data banks and comms arrays. I need uh, five ion coils found in thrusters and nacelles. And I need eight wires found on add screens and terminals. Okay. Don't know exactly how to do this. I'm not entirely sure they've told me. Um, but this does explain Shippy. Shippy MD, the mechanical doctor. Because now I found ships that were named Shippy something or another. So maybe I have to go into Shippy ships to find the Shippy ship parts. Maybe. A little worth looking into. Um, so any parts? Gila. Chill your tits. Chill your tits, kitty. Chill. Chill them. Chill. Okay. So I'm going to play with Shippy as soon as it lets me. Um, how do I, uh... To place a component, you have to have all the parts first. Thanks, Shippy. You need more components, Stat. You're showing symptoms of a component deficiency. Can't do that. Not enough components for a transplant. Oops. You don't have all the parts to do that. I like Shippy. Okay. Shippy is wonderful. Okay, what do we have for important information here? Uh, Railgate project. This just tells about how the Railgate got us opened up to the solar system. We have issue 16. Member profile, Lou Steiner. Okay, so this is, a, I believe, a new one, because I don't remember a profile on Lou. So this is our friend. We continue our series of profiling members of the Salvage Workers Unite group in issue 16. This time, we chatted with Lou Steiner from Carnegie Station above Earth to talk to her motivations to fight wo uh, for workers' rights. Parker says, Lou, tell us about your first exposure to the issues of workers' rights growing up. I grew up amid the squalor of Eris platforms around Mars, and the knowledge of, who, of whose backs built our livelihoods there, as well as on Mars itself, were always prominent topics in the community. I've always been surrounded by people doing good, honest work, and I've also seen them get mistreated for it all of their lives. The people who do all the hard work and service of human progress deserve better than just fancy words and scraps. Why do you think a workers' union is so important? I believe that we deserve a seat at the table. I believe we deserve a hand in deciding how our everyday work is managed. Our lives, our futures, our well-being are heavily intertwined with the work we do. You know, it's dangerous to be a shipbreaker. We should be a voice... Uh, yeah, we should be a voice in those crucial conversations, and I don't believe that others in power should speak for us. Our whole lives are decided and influenced by people who have never spent a day in our suits. It's time for us to realize that we've all that we are all we've got, but we're also all we need. Lou's voice is just one among us, but she speaks on behalf of every shipbreaker who believes things could be better. Solidarity is strength. Salvage workers unite. Wonderful. Uh, this is the past on Exeter Paulson. And tool durability, it finally told me that, hey, yes indeed, your shit's gonna start breaking. Great. Okay, we're good. Oh. Neat. You can actually see it now. I'm curious if I were to do a rotation. Welcome to the ship, Doctor. Let's fix that ship up. So if I do a rotation, does it rotate it out there? It does not. Worth a try. Neat. Alright, let's take care of our equipment. Hey, Gila. Stab it. <laughs> Thrusters are fine for a little bit. 
Alright, uh, I now have upgrade for the range available, cooldown, durability drain. That would be nice, so I don't have to repair it as often. Uh, more durability drain. Uh, strength would be nice. I feel like at some point I should get scanners. But I kind of never use it. Alright, let's go with the strength of the grapple. And since I use the grapple a lot, I'm going to do durability drain on it. And that's all I can afford currently. Okay, that's fine. Alright, onward to a new ship. What do I want this time? Let's do a heavy cargo mackerel. Got it. So, comms array, circuit board. So these are antennas, so not comms arrays. I'm curious what I'm supposed to do to pick up the parts, though. There's a button for that. It shows purple when you highlight it. And the purple from the nacelle is the ion coil. Okay, so what do I do? Hold to extract nacelle. Got it. Well, yes, let's do that. I'm probably not going to make nearly as much money off of this ship. Because I'm destroying everything. Cool. But I got two of the five ion coils needed. Wires are found in ad screens and terminals. I can do that, no problem. Finally got a chance to catch one of these in action. Pew! Neat. Oh! Wires! Hey look! There's shit! I can just pick up... All, all of these things that I thought were decorative doodads. Hey, look. That part would be perfect for the armadillo. Check out the diagnostics program in your hat when you want to install it. All of these that I thought were decorative doodads are actually armadillo parts. Well, isn't that just delightful? Saw something. Ah, terminals, okay. So I can strip these then for parts as well. But I also don't necessarily need to strip them for parts if I just wait for all the stuff to show up in the floating, because I've seen a lot of floating bits. So I don't necessarily need to scrap my profitability just for parts. Like there's another one right there. So I think I might go that route, just the slow and steady route.
Uh, thrusters and nacelles have the ion coils. I'm not entirely sure. I've seen floating ion coils around. So if I don't see enough of those showing up, I might end up starting to scrap nacelles and whatnot, but we'll see. Because those are kind of expensive to drop. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. What am I doing? Too. Okay, so hang on. If I extract, it still leaves it bargeable. Ah, okay, so that means that I can examine each part and determine whether or not it's safe to remove parts. The nacelles were not safe to remove parts. I'm learning. I'm learning about things. needs to go to the furnace. Ah, except it also has a processor bit. Uh, yep. Let's, uh, let's take care of that. Jack. All right, I think I can get away with cutting this thing in half. Except for these parts that are furnace bait. Come on. Come on. There you go. I really like the new um, armadillo mechanic. It's really nice to have something to work towards besides just money. Oxygen reserves are critical. Affordable oxygen supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Did that go in? It did not go in. Go in the hole. Cut you. Cut 
you. I need to cut these apart. So the ship's cut in half. Uh, the only thing that I need to recover, I think, is the airlock. This whole section can go that away, and I don't think I need to do anything else with it. Because this is up front, which means I also need to clear that out. There we go. Okay. Since I scrapped the uh, nacelles, they get to go into the processor along with everything else. Oh, fuel. Oh, you're crap fuel, okay. Raw material process. Credits deposited. bunch of asteroids into the furnace. I love the asteroid edition too. Like there's a lot of little flavor fluff type stuff that they've added to this that just really adds a lot of depth to the whole the whole scenario. Can I get you to continue moving please? Thank you. Right, I saw something. This can get scrapped. Junction box. I don't know. I don't know what I need out of it, but sure. Sure, I'll take it. Yoink. Valuable object process. There we go. Positive. Cut out the airlock here. This section, I think, can go. Let me double check the sides because there's sometimes some stuff tucked in there that I don't notice. Mm, nope. You're good to go. Carry on. Oops. Ah, well, that's fine. Ah, uh, hmm. That piece is connected to that piece. There we go. Stop 
the team. Credits awarded. What is that? Ah. It's one of those ion coils I said I never saw before. I saw one, turns out. So computers definitely get fried if you take out their components. It's good to know. But it's also good to know that there are some things I can take components out of without causing as much problem. I think it still reduces the value of it, but I'm not positive. reserves are dropping below statistically profitable levels. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Alright, fine. We'll go breathe. Five tethers left. Yeah, we'll be fine. And the rest of this can go into the processor and we're done. Deposit accepted. Concerned about that. That the uh, salvage goal three is going to be something I need to make sure that I'm hitting, despite all of the uh, the parts that I'm taking for the other thing. I need to be careful about that. It looks like I got the full value off the thruster despite taking off a component, so hopefully no one will notice. You recommend yourself to be the local union rep? Alright, what are your qualifications? Hello Shipbreaker 9346-52 Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. I'm pretty sure the corporate should not be talking about fanning Listen sparks into up, flames. Folks. Let me introduce you to Hal Rhodes. Now he's no a need for introductions, Weaver. I know who you all are. Let's just get right into it. I know you don't love a middle manager like me coming in, making life hard. Yeah, I get it. See, I'm from people like you. 
used to work the lynx yards around Ceres. Not shipbreaking, of course. Processing. Which, honestly, is just as tough. Yep. We know processing can be quite well, a... This is real simple. I hit my goals and I'm out of your hair. But we gotta all pull the rope in the same direction, get it? Cooperation. co op er -ation. You scratch my back, and we'll all be done here in no time. Capish? Okay then. I'm taking the day to settle in and we'll see you all tomorrow, bright and early. Okay. Okay then. Well, Hal's a bit of a cunt. Alright. This guy thinks he knows what backbreaking work is? <laughs> I'm telling ya, one week tops. Guy's gonna cooperate with the end of my grapple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now remember, be on your best behavior. I'll see y'all in the yard. You can type and breathe. Good. Those are good starts for sure. <laughs> Alright, let's go take a look at, uh, here. Hey there, I'm Shippy. I'm here to help you get this ship healthy again. Thanks, Shippy. Kitty. Why are your feet wet? Do I even want to know? I don't think I want to know. Kitty. Wet kitty feet. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're good. I can't do anything. Uh, let's see. All of those are good things. I feel like I probably should dive into the scanner bits. So let's let's do scanner bits. Another ship time. All right, what do I want to do? Um, we don't have any shippy labeled ships. So we have Exolab, 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 or Light Cargo. Let's do an Exolab. Uh, and let's do... The Debonair Pandora. That sounds fancy enough. He's gonna get shanked. I just know it. <laughs> He's gonna get shanked real good. Alright, parts. Parts. More parts. Parts that go flying. Come back here. I need you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good night, the one. Good, good. Okay. All of these things are good. No, come back. No, I need you. Parts. Thank you. All of the flying parts. Hi, Gizmo. You being silly? Good kitty. Just don't get me killed. Don't get me killed, kitty. Alright, we're all depressurized, so we're good. I can start cracking it open. Ah! Bright light, kitty. Bright light. Speaking of bright light, I keep forgetting to turn on my lights. Kitty. 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 Chill yourself. And stop trying to blind me. Parts. Thank you. Now, which one of these lets me see the floating bits? I know I've picked up most of them, so I don't really have a good visibility to it all. I think this one would probably do it. Now this is the object, so this one should do it. And yeah, we've got stuff like bottles floating around, but most of the collectibles are being outshadowed by the other stuff. Hmm, okay, good to know. You are a utility arm, and you got stuff, but I'm not going to take your stuff. I might eventually have to start taking the stuff, but we'll see. Gizmo's still trying to kill me. I need my mouse intact, please. Alright, let me cut off the back end of this thing and then we'll start cleaning up a little bit.
Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. Don't, don't worry about my oxygen. Let me worry about my oxygen. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Ah! Bright light, cat. Cat, stop. <laughs> stop. Alright, I'll deal with that in a sec. I gotta go breathe. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your plan administrator to have asphyxiation coverage. Okay. Kitten. Kitten. How about I just how about I just turn that off and stop blinding me? Ah, my eyes. <laughs> Alright, so according to what worked before, I was able to strip this and still have it intact for salvaging. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Feels like a thing I probably shouldn't be doing, but I'm gonna do it. And hopefully the Union Buster man's not gonna be all freaky about it. There is a door there. I wondered about that. I saw that there was a handle to crack the door, but I didn't see that the door was actually there. Alright, well, that's good. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of parts. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Object Credits nope, not gonna touch that. It's not until I remove Credit the power. What's your deal? What's your deal, kitty? What is your deal, kitty? What's what's going on with you? Why are you squirming? What's up with you? Why are you doing the thing? Hmm? Five. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. 
six power things just on that side. I think that, nope, that's not all of them. Seven. Seven power things on that side. I mean, I guess it is a sciencey vessel with a whole bunch of computers in it, so it probably should have some power. Whoops, those don't go down there. Well, what the hell am I doing? Welcome back, Smooth Avion. I'm not sure why I care enough to collect these things, but whatever. It's fine. Finish cutting here. That should be good to leave as is. More power things. What the hell? Here, let's uh, just drop you in there for now. Smooth Agent, you do whatever amuses you. If you want to catch another stream, you you catch another stream. You do that thing. Oh. I thought I cut that last one. Turns out I didn't. There we go. Okay. Uh, so this should be free to go over there. Good, good. Okay. I am slowly losing FPS. I wonder if this is a tab out again situation. Let's find out. No, that did not help. All right, worth a shot. Yep, definitely killing FPS here. And I don't know exactly what's causing that. Junction box? Sure. Oh, okay. That's fine. Your oxygen reserves are low. filter that needs to go down the barge and I need to cut that out. I think I didn't cut that out last time. Um, I think I didn't realize it was there. 
So I might have lost money on that, so we'll see if we can fix that this time around. Hmm. Fine. Um, let's just finish cutting off the floor panels here. With this thing all crooked again. Credits deposited. Salvage gains observed. This area is done. So this is all furnace bait again. So I think I still want to cut these off. is furnace, so that can stay on, I guess. Processing valuable objects. Credit Oof. Uh, that's a lot of computers. Um... Unfortunately, not quite as easy to do with a low tether count. Warning, no tethers remaining. There we go. secured. Credits deposited. Alright, so this thing needs to come out, and it looks like... If I remember right, this thing's just kind of wedged in there. Should be fine to cut out this way. I think I've only dealt with one of these before. But, it'll be fine. Yep, for whatever reason, those do not like to come loose. But it's fine. We'll make it happen. Alright, this thing goes down to the barge. Not, not the cleanest cut, but there's a bunch of stuff stapled to it that I can't really remove, so I'm hoping it's worth it. Twenty-five thousand? Probably not worth doing, honestly. Credit 
All right, and the rest of this is furnace, except for that do that door. Excuse me, hiccups. So, Warning. Fur furnace. Depleted. That should do. Should be just fine. Yes. Actually, I find that an interesting concept. The idea that gamers are being well trained for certain future job prospects of remote activation of drones and whatnot to do remote work. Either in space or just in construction sites where it's safer to use a drone. I don't know if that tech is anywhere near ready, but it's a fascinating concept. I noticed that the lady telling me about my oxygen got overwritten about the lady telling me about my money. So very clearly where the priorities lie here. I should be able to make oxygen it for oxygen. Affordable oxygen supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Whoops. Come back. Warning. I missed. No tethers remaining. Welcome to Oxygen level stabilizing. Hey, remote construction work, remote deconstruction work. I could be on board with that, if it were gamified enough like this. I don't know, if the, if the infrastructure were set up like gaming is, I don't know if the infrastructure needs to be enhanced at all. Because, I mean, it's not much different than a standard multiplayer game where the packets being sent for the information of what the player is doing can be slimmed down pretty drastically. I mean, there's probably got to be more checks in place just for the safety's sake, but... I mean, ultimately, it shouldn't be all that much different. Granted, space work, on the other hand, would be different, because we'd need... we'd need a little bit faster speeds for that. But that's what old Muskie is working on. He's working on getting a space-based internet. There we go. Material deposited. There we go. And this piece, I think, is just ready to go in. Yep, there's definitely some robotic surgery methods going on. There's robotic arms that surgeons can control. Um, there's methods to do it through VR even. It's not quite mainstream yet, but it's definitely picking up steam. The company I work for actually does some of that stuff. Remote robotic surgery. It's fascinating. Actually, I went to work one day at the, um, I work at the headquarters, and um, they had a whole, like, conference kind of thing set up, basically, and there's a whole bunch of tables with different VR setups, and you could go in there and you could test out the VR setups and see, you know, what kind of stuff they're working on for VR. One of them was just a simple, like, filing cabinet kind of deal, but it was basically how to interact with all of your files in a filing cabinet format in virtual space so that you didn't actually have to take up all that space in in the real world. There's some really interesting stuff being done in the real world space for VR and robotics and stuff like that. 
It's a shame I don't get to work with it as often as I'd like. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Oh, for a second there, I thought it might have been my birthday. Okay. I can put in some parts. Okay, I can put in one batch of parts. Would you like help with that? Yes, Shippy, I would love help with that. Install. Nice work. If I had a heart, I'd be proud. <laughs> oh, Shippy, you cad. All right, we need one more circuit board and eight more wires. Maybe we can get that um, on the next ship. Kila, show your tits. Also, we have data recovery to do. Um, Railgate History 3 of 4. I think we'll read those as we get them in the correct order. Okay, Gila. Stop. Stop, sir. Cat. Cat. He's driving me nuts. All right. Uh, let's do thruster repair, grapple repair. Uh, let's do... Laser cutter heat dissipation. All of the things. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Do let's do the Wrangler. Sure, why not? And let's see about doing this with a little bit less care for profits, perhaps. Let's see if I can get some of those parts. Good morning, shipbreakers. Hi. I was thinking about all of you last night, and something came to mind. This is a quote from one of history's greatest managers, a fella named Jonathan Rockefeller. Good management consists of showing average people how to do the work of superior people. He got it. Weaver, that's a good one for you. Maybe you write it down or something. Actually, I can just send it to you. He sounds like a proper tool bag. A corporate tool bag. Cats can rule the world? Probably. Probably. I got a rod. I got a rod. I like it. I like the picking up of stuff. Ah, 
Aha, we have data banks that have circuit boards in them. Um, let's do a sweep for parts first. Never mind, I found the circuit board I need. That means I don't need to extract it from these things. Cool, handy. Uh, we have some more parts. We have one up front there and then two over here, both in the side compartments. But neither of them are ones that I need, I don't believe. So this will be fine. Here we go. Here's a Lynx poster. Shoot at the reactor. That'd be a bad idea. <laughs> That's true. Cats have already kind of sort of took over. Get this thing scooted. Still scooting. on things. There we go. Okay. Object accepted for processing. Credit I don't need the ion doohickeys. At least not at the moment. Leave those as is. Uh, computer terminal. Sure, let's take one of those. Um, can I not? There we go. not letting me do the thing unless I'm pointing it at just the right angle and then it stops happening as soon as okay well fine then I won't collect at them that's fine I didn't need to collect those things anyway Salvage secured. Credits deposited. These parts are good to go, I believe. Nope. We got one of these to do. Yes, the the cat episode of Futurama was amazing. Where they used a what was it, a ball of yarn to the middle of the earth to uh, stop its rotation or change its rotation to the opposite direction. 
so they could steal the rotation for their own planet. Jerk cats. Get you that away. Let's get some of these pieces that away. Looks like a cut point. Is that a cut point of something I need? Uh, no, it looks like it's a cut point for something that could potentially be there, but it's not there. Alright, I'll take it. for that one, but it's fine. Perfect combination, right, Smooth Agent? stuck on anything. You're just being a dork. Okay. It's fine. but I'll take ya.
Nope, those will be all fine. Okay, uh, you. I don't know why I cut that off. Let's go on the furnace. It didn't need to be cut off. But whatever. It's fine. And the rest of this goes to the furnace as well. Good, good. Just gonna cut off or empty out the front section here. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. And the junction box is fuses. I don't need that at the moment. But I might salvage the rest of those computers in there for parts if I can guarantee the level 3. I think that's the trickiest part, is that I want the level 3. So I'm going to try to salvage everything else first. to put this in and then see if it's enough to get me to three. If it's not, then I have to save those computers as is. The margin for error on this is actually really slim. And I think that's part of what's going on with the, the armadillo thing. Is balancing that uh, risk versus reward and do you want your ship or do you want the... Do you want a ship or do you want the salvage? Alright. That also didn't go in, so that's gonna help. Is that enough for a level 3? 
I think it is. Pretty sure. Mostly positive. There we go. There's the level three. Okay, that means that I can get all of these computer parts. It's not enough to finish it for the round, but it'll do. to do when they're not moving. Here, hold. Nope, damn it. Stop moving. Seven of eight wires, so I just need one more wire and then we can finish off the current stage of the armadillo. That was almost hazardous, I almost ran my face into that. Okay. Computer terminals got destroyed, but that's fine, we made money. Got rank 10. Wonderful. Good morning, Shipbreaker. This is your daily wake-up call. Um, thanks. New poster available. Wonderful. Um, clearance hazard level 6. Class 2 reactors. Environmental control units and coolant. Great. Good news, Cutter. You've earned clearance to the next hazard level. This means you'll be getting class two reactors now. Gnarly things. We'll start training when you're ready and I'll walk you through them. Oh, they're not so bad. You've seen one reactor, you've seen them all, I think. Uh, this ain't really that simple. Yeah, I got a tip for you there, newbie. Don't blow it up. <laughs> Thanks, Cutter. Huh? Like I said, <laughs> let me know when you're ready to start training. Don't take too long. Thanks, Hal. Way to be the most hated person in the universe. Uh, we have another data recovery to do. Uh, the Maytan drive? Ah, uh, Nabi Meta. So Meta and Drive. Okay, sure, whatever. First found on the Wrangler. Goodbye note. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to try because I will probably butcher it. I am praying to, to all the gods that you have a safe journey to Jupiter. Know that I will be taking, uh, thinking of you every minute of every day. Make sure you keep your luggage close to you and don't waste water. You've heard of the stories of Mars. Be careful, okay? Remember, Vetu, don't look back. Don't let the world break your spirit and always have hope in your heart. I wish I could come with you, but you know it was too expensive for both of us. I'm old now. There's not much time left for me, but you, you have the brightest future ahead of you. You have seen me work very hard my whole life, and I need you to do the same. My children are like my eyes. I cannot see without them, and I cannot live without them. See the world for me. Aw. Mom sending baby kid off to live in a happier world, hopefully. Okay, uh, info on Demeter Paulson. We've already read that. ECU systems, I know how those function generally. Reactor systems, I know how those function generally. So, let's see what it actually says. Uh, these reactors are connected to an ECU and long-range thrusters. Shipbra uh, shipbreakers must disconnect the ECU and thrusters before extracting the reactor. Failure to follow these steps will result in a faster meltdown sequence. 
So disconnect ECU and disconnect thrusters. Okay. Meltdowns can often affect ship profits and may result in the demerits to your employee record. Well, that's good to know. Uh, what does it say about the ECU? Open it, rip out the coolant, watch out for coolant leaks. Cool. Good. Uh, more range. Tether Lifetime would be a wonderful upgrade. And I think that's the one I'm going for. Tether Lifetime. Right, one more, and hopefully I can get enough... Um, wiring to finish the thing. I only need one, so it should be fine. No, I don't want to continue. Stop it. Start training, right? We're doing a class two reactor now. I mean, are, are we in a gecko now? Or is this a class two reactor in a javelin, perhaps? Because I don't think they put them in the macros. Right, Time to extract your first class two reactor. This one's not quite as simple as just pull it and barge it, right? Pretty straightforward. Well, I'm sure head office would rather the reactor was in one piece. Pulling this beast without proper prep is a sure way to print yourself a receipt for a new spare. Sure, sure, prep. But you're on the clock, don't forget. <clears throat> as I was saying, like any reactor, it'll start melting down as soon as it's disconnected from its housing. And these class twos will melt down mighty quick unless you do two things first. First, release the connection to the thrusters. And second, remove the coolant from the ship's environmental control unit, or System. ECU. Or just cut a hole, pull it, and barge it. Uh, just make sure you clear an extraction route before doing anything, Cutter. As soon as you release the thrusters and mess with the ECU coolant, the reactor will enter a controlled meltdown. Oh, and if you're having trouble finding everything, try using the systems mode of your scanner. Hey, right. systems. Disconnect the doodad. Ah, okay, so they've got the reactor in a crappy state to start off with, and I'm assuming as you do the necessary things, it gets into a better state to give you a longer cooldown. But, I think that means that there's no safe way to remove the reactor anymore. Definitely going to require experimentation. Definitely an experimentation situation, but that's fine. Probably not while doing the tutorial, but we can experiment at some point. Airlock pressure levels increasing. What neat. New posters. I like new posters. I should probably put up more posters in my uh, in my area. Air pressure level decreasing. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Alright. No more pressure in the front half. I know I have the goals, but I think I'm just going to keep salvaging this thing as if it were normal. throw a bunch of crap down here. That's a hell of a hell of a garbage pile.
Uh, let's see. Let's do one quick pass for objects and see if there's anything that I can pick up. And it looks like the answer is yes. And if I look here, I need wires. And I see a batch of wires right about there. So I don't need to shred any of my computers. This is good. I don't like shredding my computers if I don't have to. Because they're worth a lot of money. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I like this door here as well. That's much better than the previous design where you kind of had to cut it open to get to the bottom hatch. No longer. It just, it just is. It just works better. There we go. this off. <laughs> the shrapnel. It goes everywhere. Going to the furnace, hopefully it continues that route. That'll be fine. but not actually cutting into the reactor before I get even started here. That would be wonderful. This is all good. I think I can just safely crack this thing. Thruster released. Great. I think we're still going to have this problem again. Valuable 
project protest. Let us toward it. Good, good, good. Do that. At least it didn't break. But still, don't bounce off of things. Hmm, bouncing off of things we shouldn't be. Stop it. Good. Okay. Caution. Tether supplies are low. I'm not gonna get hooked on stuff. Eh, a little bounce is fine. Try to free this up like I did before. So basically, just want as much free space as I can to do stuff here. Cut all the things. So if it's gonna be free, it will it will let me know. I don't think it's gonna be free. I don't think it's gonna be free at all. I've been lied to. Okay, well fine. So if I do this and we do the system scanner do thing, it does now have five extra um, pips on it. Which means removing the thruster did allow more cooldown time on the reactor. So if I remove the coolant here, is that going to actually start the, the thing? I don't know if I trust it, because I've never trusted it before. So I'm going to crack these open now, just to get them done. This goes down. And that's still at 10 pips out of the 15. So that hasn't moved by removing the shielding, which is good. So now if I start the, the meltdown, I should be able to just crack that thing and shift it to the side and drop it. Who's storing their beverages in here? 
<laughs> I mean, it's got all the coolant, so it's probably a good place to store your cold beverage, but still, not the safest place to go about doing that. Alright, so the reactor has begun. in the audio there and I know that that's a known issue so the thing I noticed about this is the the reactor was not arcing at least it wasn't arcing as quickly as it usually does so I kind of like this new method oh we have a we have a launch going like the pew. It's a very visceral effect. I like it. Alright, let's just finish selling this thing then. I still don't quite know how to effectively get this thing cut off of here. But that needs to go to the processor? Oh. Did I... I these were changed from barge bait to processor bait. Okay. That's fine. Now I know. Valuable object processed. Good, good. Okay, so that means that I can safely detach here. And this piece here used to go to the processor. It doesn't anymore. All this is processor good. Interesting, I noticed my time at the very top is at two minutes, which means during the entirety of the training session they weren't counting it against me for a shift. So I could have conceivably done this entire ship and the reactor could have been the last thing to do and not have to worry about, uh, not have to worry about time. Large wise, please. You good? Good. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits Oops, that doesn't go in there. I didn't read it till last second. That's fine. It was 200 bucks. Alright, so this little middle segment here can finally come out. Ah, no, it goes that way. Got it. So that means that I do need to cut these free.
Oh yeah, the physics-based movement of items is a lot, a lot lighter than before, like Knight had said. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll 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 work around it. Alright, did I ever I did not decompress this side. Good thing I checked. What actually needs to be decompressed? Uh, the compartment outside and there. Oop, that's a rod. I need that. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Oh, all right, that was it. Just need to crack those two doors. Okie dokie. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Salvage gained. Rewards increasing. Why did Aerobridge suddenly get destroyed? Oh, that ring that I just threw into the processor must have had a little bit of a sliver of Aerobridge left on it. That's fine. Critical, you say. Probably should have uh, paid more attention to that. This is fine. We'll make it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. That piece, however, is not going in the right spot without some prodding. Good. 
Yeah, yeah, good. wonder what they might have changed with the uh, the gear damage because I believe they were changing that and I don't think I got a chance to see any of it with the last update so it'd be kind of nice to see what they might have changed although I'm not entirely sure I want to let my stuff rot to find out see you there. And this is the wiring I wanted. Good, good. Anything else hiding? There's something inside. That'll be fine. We'll grab that in a minute. I think that's it. Okay. Looking for free pieces I can drop. Because I haven't been paying that much attention to what I've been cutting. Isn't a very graceful move, but it'll do. It'll do. That was also not a graceful move on my part. Salvage 
deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Come on. Fine. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Your oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Lynx equipment. I, I think. I'm mostly done with this part. I don't want to throw it in the furnace just yet because I still have to cut off the airlocks. But I think other than the airlocks, it's done. I'll double check after I'm back from oxygen. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your plan administrator to add asphyxiation coverage. Oxygen level stabilizing. Okay. And we're back to stable, so now I can focus again. That was hazardous. I didn't realize the uh, I didn't realize the fire was behind there. All right, is this piece clear? I think this piece is clear. I'm gonna leave it floating there though because I can't really move it without bouncing off of everything else. So that'll be fine. Uh, let's get you cut. And you. Oh, and I need to cut the bottom half of this thing. Hopefully that'll work. And then you can go that way. Ah, that's not gonna work. Boo. That'll work though. was actually quite a bit. All right, that's fine.
done. And these javelins are a lot easier to work with now. Granted, I'm on 20 minutes and I had... whoops. Ah. Ah. There we go. I had uh, a handful of free minutes. Stop it! I had a handful of free minutes due to the tutorial. But otherwise, not too bad. Okay, uh, I want to get those nacelles free. Are y'all free, or did I not cut you yet? You're free, and I didn't cut you. Okay. But yeah, I'm at least better at the javelins now with some of the changes that they made. I'm okay with that. Last little bit here. Really not trusting myself around the uh, the fuel tanks. I think that's it. Just need you to get in there before I leave. So, decent amount of money. The reactors are worth... Thrusters are worth 350, uh, 450. Reactors are worth 3 million. So, definitely worth doing. Every single time. Good, good. New certification level awarded. License upgraded. Cutter 9346-52, your sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Thanks. Okay, um, new HAB poster. Yep, that was one that we collected. And that one. New sticker. Great. Anyone going to talk to me today? Listen up, guys. I got something you'll all like. Oh, are 
Are you leaving already? Uh, um, <laughs> I went ahead and got you all clearance to use something that'll make you ten times more efficient. Easy. Twenty times. You ready? Demolition charges. Spark free. These'll cut through damn near anything. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Spark free demo charges? That sounds pretty cool, Mr. Rhodes. Thank you. Uh-uh. No way. Not a chance. Damn things aren't new. Hell, I've been vaporized by those stupid things plenty of times. <laughs> spark free. <sighs> things spark so much you could put one on a birthday cake. Curzon! That's it! Come on now, Hal. I'm revoking your privileges for external communications. Oh. You... what? Yeah. Yeah. No comms outside the station network. No more calls to Mars. All of you need to understand something. I represent the company, and you show me respect. Got it? Hal lets you and I sit down and talk about this. That's all for now. Let's get to work. Hal's gonna get himself shanked. Definitely. Alright, last thing I wanna do is I wanna see about putting the last bits in for this current step of... Okay, we'll read the messages and stuff first. Alright, spark free demolition charges. We've finally done it. After enthusiastic lobbying and negotiations, the Jovian Safety Commission has given us the go-ahead on Lynx brand explosives. Those cutters are, who are keen to work on their explosives ticket can now require the demolition charge license from the equipment menu of their HAB interface. Instructions are available in all languages except Esperanto. Happy cutting! Alright. Uh, current, uh, current day links. The guidance of Megan Rye Paulson. Okay, so yeah, this is more... Yeah, current day links. Got it. That, that, that subject didn't register to me, but it's referring to current management of links. And then we've got issue 17, administrators. The deployment of administrators is a worrying development, as are the comments made by company leadership about our efforts. We want our members to know that we will not be dissuaded. It is unclear how much authority administrators have. We're getting word that they can change rules, procedures, and work certificates as they see fit, which is a major concern for the safety and rights of shipbreakers. Lynx has provided no clarity or transparency with these administrators and where their jurisdiction ends. So far, they have been inconsistent in how they operate. We'll share more information as we get it. Please reach out to us with your experiences and complaints. Stay safe. Respect workers' rights. Hope is action. Solidarity is strength. Good, good. So the... Administrators are inconsistently applying their power. Uh, this one. Solar History Volume 1. Let's read that later. I want to play with the ship. The dock is in, and it's time for some shipoplasty. Shipoplasty. All right. Play some circuit boards right about there. My prognosis is your ship will be awesome in no time. Huzzah! And play some wires there. Nice work, surgeon in training. Oh, and we have more stuff to put in because I've gotten a lot of parts. So let's put in some fuses. Great. Okay, so I have enough to place three of these, but not the last one. So we'll save that for next time when I can scrap a bunch of wires. Um, I could potentially get a whole bunch of wires. There's places where there's a lot of computers available, but that's really going to murder my productivity. So we'll see if I just need to get that over time. Not sure yet. Okie dokie. So, we got two full levels. I don't know if anything changes, as we can see it here. But I don't know if I've been paying enough attention to find out. So, who knows? 
But that'll be it for tonight. Um, clearly, I still have a little bit more to go with the uh, Act 2 story before I can uh, take off on my own and play this in my spare time. I haven't been playing in my spare time, so we get all the story on here. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to finish that sooner than later so that I can get to cutting on my own time. That'll be it for tonight. Smooth Agent, thanks for hanging out. Anyone else still lurking out there, thank y'all for coming. Thank you for any subs and follows that I might have missed, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!